hear from Miss Sandy Ellis. Hey, Sandy Mambo, Mambo Italiano, hey, Mambo, Mambo Italiano, go, go, go. You mixed up Sigiliano, all you Calabrese do the Mambo like a crazy wizard. Hey, the stripper has arrived, folks. Don't mess with me, I'll take this top off and I'll just throw you a boob. I don't care. So I came from Hoboken, New Jersey. That's where I was born. You guys know Hoboken? Yeah, it's cool now, right? Home of Frank Sinatra and baseball. My grandmother changed his diapers, oh, blue eyes. He was 77 years old when she did that. <laughs> Made me famous. So my mother was this crazy Italian woman, you know, and she was nuts. My sister had a totally different experience than I did growing up. She's like, mommy used to braid my hair. I'm like, she set mine on fire. <laughs> She used to go to school when I had a recital. She threw me out of the second floor window. <laughs> but she passed away, my mother. She passed away and it's sad, it's sad. And I miss her, because I realize at this age, no one makes you feel like a piece of shit like your mother. <laughs> You're never gonna find that, right? You think you look good in that white Reebok shirt. <laughs> Try ringing your mother's bell. She's like, where you going, Poppy? Where you going? <laughs> So yeah, that's what happened. I mean, I just, uh, when she died, it was really sad. I cried to my brother-in-law at the funeral. I'm like, Mickey, she didn't even live to see me get married. He put his arm around me and said, Sandra, honey, none of us are gonna live to see you get married. <laughs> and he died last year. Sure, it's funny now. You give your mother mouth, brother mouth to mouth resuscitation. It's not fun. But you know what happened to me, ladies? And I guess you all could relate. I set the bar too high. Now, I don't care how hard they set the bar. As long as I can get my drink, I'm good, okay? Because I used to want tall, dark, and handsome. Now I want breathing with teeth and hair. My sister said that's too picky. Now, sadly, limbs are optional. I'll take a restless leg, Poppy, because if it vibrates, I'm sitting on it. The washing machine's front load now. Girl can't get off. Oh yeah, it's only me sitting on the washing machine. I don't think so, mama. I think so. So yeah, I'm in the menopause now. That's a fun time, isn't it? My three favorite shows now are Snapped. That's the one where you kill a guy. My 600 pound life, which is my future. Okay. And Monsters Inside Me, which reminds me of my old dating life. walking around New York City, and you know, it's terrible. They have the kids on leashes, and the dogs are in carriages. What's going on in this town? <laughs> Horrendous, right? And I'm in the menopause. My sister calls me. She says, the bladder drops in menopause. I go, yeah, I'm wheeling mine around like a red fucking wagon. <laughs> it's terrible. I cough and laugh now. Pee in my pants now, just a little. Like that. And that shit adds up. Men come up to me like, what are you wearing? I go, it's urine by Ralph Lauren. <laughs> Take me out to the ball game. <laughs> Buy me some peanuts and Cracker Jacks. I don't care if I pee through my slacks. <laughs> terrible, terrible. The hair just fell off my legs now. My sister's like, what happened to the hair on your legs? I go, it just fell off, fell off. <laughs> I just have it now on my chin and my chest. <laughs> Got a nice five o'clock shadow. Yeah, I'm on the bus the other day and this long gray hair just flying out of my nose like this, <laughs> waving in the wind. I'm like picking at it, look like a crackhead. I'm on the subway now, I get a seat. They're like, why? I'm like, why are you asking me? Am I, I'm not disabled or, oh, pregnant. You think this is the baby, right? <laughs> oh, the baby's kicking, oh, the baby's kicking, oh, the baby's kicking. <laughs> Hell with you, I'm going 4th Street to 72nd Street in a nice seat. <laughs> Pregnant ladies are hanging like this. Oh, yeah, have your baby, I don't care. The sixth train threw me off, though. Sixth train's like, no, it's been 24 months, lady. Where's that baby? <laughs> it's the afterbirth, it's the afterbirth. It's not easy. Back at Weight Watchers now, you know, I go back. They go, welcome back, Sandy Ehlers. Your goal weight is 117. 117? That's my birth weight. <laughs> I come out of the womb 117. Standing next to a girl like this, you know, the kind Brittany wants to lose 10 pounds. I said, I'm in a Spanx, Brittany. If I just pull this down halfway, you're gonna go through the wall like a friggin' tsunami. 
They want to know what my breaking point was. What was your breaking point? What threw you over the edge, Sandy? You were a lifetime member. Want to know what threw me over the edge? I lifted up my left boob and I found popcorn under there. <laughs> and it was a kernel and it popped. <laughs> right in the middle of the night. I heard something, I didn't know what it was. When I was eating it, I knew I lost it, but I didn't know where it went. And then I was making popcorn. So not only can I make love to you, I could also give you a snack while you're laying there. I am Sandy Ehlers, you guys are great. Hey, mumbo, mumbo, tale.